How you doing everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Southampton. As you already know, because you clicked on the thumbnail, today or this afternoon, I am going to target the elusive thick lip mullet. Now for 99% of you, just like myself, it probably sends a shudder down your spine. When you're walking around the harbours, when you're away with the family, or if you're into fishing for mullet, you will know they are damn hard fish to catch. So I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but if you've clicked on this link and you see the thumbnail, if I am holding a mullet, then I obviously caught one. So hopefully that's what you've seen. Give me some luck. Yeah, come on. You're an international angler. <laughs> I <don't>, oh! <laughs> All right, preparation for these grey ghosts, if we like to call them. Plenty of prep goes into getting these bad boys feeding. So what I've got here is some old sand eel that I froze and refroze. Just gonna chop them all up, like so. Look, lots of people do this different. Some people do it like this. What I'm gonna do is make up a ground bait, more like a paste or a liquid. Just gonna chop up some sand eel. Then I'm gonna get a loaf of bread. Like so. Just gonna mix all that in. Don't worry, I'm gonna add some water in a minute. My aim is to try and catch one off the top, which is very visual, naturally. The mullet come up on top, taking our free offer in of bread. We can get that on camera, then hopefully, like controller fishing for carp, we can get them to take it. But at the moment, it's just gone one o'clock. The sun is still quite high. And I believe the only way of catching one, as we stand right now, is catching one on the bottom. As you can see, I've added some water. Just making a big sloppy mess. Oh. So I'm down here with Stu. Stu was down here last night and said it was completely full of mullet. I've got here a little bit early to be fair. Like most fishing, morning and evenings are best. But I've got here nice and early. I'm not going to stick loads of bait in. As I said, there's no point really. Look at that. I'm just going to put a bit of this in. My aim is to catch them on top. But at the moment I can't see any. We've got some free offering of bread out there and there's just none about. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of ground bait in, not too much, fish a float over depth, and just see if I can pick one up that way. Pretty straightforward stuff. As we go on, I'll talk you through my kit, I'll talk you through the methods and my technique, and you never know, I might actually get us one. They are definitely, and you probably know this yourself, the most frustrating fish to ever catch, because they naturally feed on weed. Like that, soak them up so they go soft. I'll add them to the mix. So I've just put that ball of ground bait in and it clays up amazing. I wait for these to go soft and then I'll introduce them into my ground bait. If I put these in now, they just float off. What I'm going to do is chuck another handful of ground bait in and I'll show you what it looks like in the water. Once the mullet are in, I'll keep going with it. I've got loads of bread. I've got five loaves and I've got lots of fish and I've got more pellets in my van and we'd make it happen. But for now, there's no fish here. Like normal fishing, you can see when the mullet are here. When you're fishing like on the beach or, you know, beach casting, you just got to keep going. The more effort you put in, the more chance you've got of getting one. But with mullet fishing, I can see them. They show their hands, you know this by now. If you've got mullet in the area, you see them. It doesn't mean they're gonna take your bait. Normally it's, it's an absolute nightmare and they take everyone apart from yours because they're pretty clever. But on the odd occasion, and hopefully that's today, we may get a stupid fish, or we may get the fish when they're actually feeding. And normally, if you can get one, you can get 10. So you've also got to remember not to put too much in because the tide's rushing from left to right. Oh, there's mullet there. There's mullet everywhere, look. They're already on it. 
Oh my God, I can't believe it. Can you see that? There's mullet everywhere. We've got a chance, everyone. We've got mullet feeding already. I was just, just gonna start talking to you and Jem's fishing next to me on the float. My ground bait seems to be working. I'm actually fishing on the bottom. I've got a few split shots, which are weights in the course fishing world. And I've just got a little hook off, just a really short rig. and just letting it drop down to the bottom with a little bit of bread. And every now and again, just chucking a bit of the slop in. There's a bite. If you have a look, we've got a bite now. You watch that tip. So I've got a few mullet feeding. As I've said to you, they're really frustrating. It doesn't matter if you get a bite, it doesn't mean you're going to hook the fish. There you go, there's a fish playing with it. And what normally happens is you get bite after bite after bite after bite and then obviously you hook the fish and then they scream off. And these fish fight better than anything, so make sure you have your drag set loose. But the good thing about a mullet, obviously when they're up on the surface you can see them. And when they're on the bottom, they give you lots of indication where they're just sucking your bait. So it's a very visual way to fish. It's great fun. And if you get them feeding, you can get more than one. Just watch that tip. I'll show you my bait in a minute. It's just a, I don't know, like a pear drop. Like a pasty, basically, a Cornish pasty, pinch round and they just keep sucking it until they get the hook. But there's definitely fish there because I'm getting notifications or indications. Notifications, what well, on my phone. But what you do is when you've had a bite for a few minutes like this, if you don't hook the fish, bring it in and check your bait because that's so finicky. As soon as you can see the hook, they're off it. But we've got a few fish in the area. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was half asleep and then I heard a real ghost screaming off and Gem's in. Yeah, they're not, it's not ready yet, give me some luck. Yeah, come on. You're an international angler. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's what you call giving him to There you go. Come on. There's another one there, look. They're everywhere. Yeah, now. Watch his head. He's doing alright, yeah? That fish is not ready yet. Right. Stu, get that net in first. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, we've been sitting here all day and uh, getting cooked in the sun and finally the mullet seem to have started appearing. That's a nice fish. And uh, snagged a nice fish there. Come forward a little bit. There you go. And there you go, a beautiful mullet. Thick lip, obviously, got thick yeah. lips and he took him on bread. Want but yeah. Give him a kiss? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> but there, there you go, we get this one back. Well done, Jam. Wicked, thanks Wayne. Good effort. Well, as you know, when the shit hits a fan, I eat. Gem's had a nice mullet. Just under four pound, went away lovely. Random, just float fishing, no pre-baiting, no grind bait, just in. But just sat there while well, I was actually asleep, kind of. <laughs> and uh, that's mullet fishing for you though. And then Gem's rod just ripped off. Random, that's mullet for you. But I'm gonna eat this, get my energy up, hopefully, the sun's going down, the tide's dropping out, and we've definitely got a chance of a few more mullet. Cheers, everyone. How you doing, everyone? Welcome back. Obviously, you don't know, but we've been away for a couple of hours, chilling out, waiting for the tide to drop out. You probably know, or you might not, mullet fishing at high water is really hard. Obviously, there's a lot more water. The mullet like to be on the edge, mooching around. So when you're at high water, it's hard work. So we stopped fishing. We had some food, Stu went home for a bit, I chilled out in the van, and now we're back at it. We've just passed the second high, and now the tide's gonna be dropping out for about three hours. It's gonna get dark in an hour and a half, so we've got some fishing to do now. What we're doing is we're fishing around the stanchions, so what I'm gonna do again, 
chuck out some of my ground bait. I'll show you what it looks like in the water. It looks pretty good. Or as the kids would say, it looks sick. Look at that. What a beautiful sight. Right, Stu? Yeah. Hey, we haven't had Stu on camera yet. <laughs> You've been too busy. Been too busy not catching fish. Obviously, Jem caught one, which we're super pleased about. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, we've definitely got a chance. What we're going to do now, continue fishing. We'll bring you back. We'll get Stu on camera. You like being on camera, don't you, Stu? Yeah, no one again. <laughs> yeah. And we'll have a chat to Stu, and hopefully, we can get a grey ghost. If we're very lucky, you know by now, these things are mega frustrating. You can probably tell from this video. Jem caught one randomly, out of the blue, we're all sat there, not even ground baiting, I was half asleep, and a rod ripped off. And that for you is mullet fishing. Ron, you are right. Stu's got a bite. Sorry, we're whispering back. <laughs> um, here's our mallet. Where are they? <laughs> I was frustrated, Fuck wasn't it? it? Oh, no, you swore then. So when you come out mallet fishing, if you don't catch one, it drives you insane, and you never want to do it again. No. Well, no, you do. You just want to throw rocks at them. That was just crazy, the sorting swimming around our brain. Yeah, it's just... But as I said, it's mullet fishing. In the UK, it's probably the most frustrating mm. style of fishing, isn't it? You yeah. said... Stu was here yesterday with Jem, and they were just all over the place catching them. Um, today I've come down. We've caught one, so... Yeah, Jem had a nice one. Yeah, it's... Uh, Great for it. Yeah, like four pounds, so it's a PB for her. But we've seen some absolutely massive torpedoes out there. Mm but they're just not feeding. Yeah, I don't know if it's just pressure's changed, I, I don't know, but they're just laying in a dormant, a lot of them. Yeah, you can put a bait right by their head. As Stu just said, we were just chatting about it. Tomorrow, the weather change, changes up to 40 mile an hour winds, rain, maybe it's the pressure. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be something. Yeah. Um, but that's fishing for mullet. Um, we've had a great afternoon anyway. A good laugh, haven't yeah, they? Always I'm... have a laugh to me. You know, frustrate them, but we laugh about it. It's great. We've not even got you on camera. No. Busy yeah. cutting wrong, didn't Stu, it? Stu, Stu's <laughs> Welsh International. Um, yeah, busy. Yeah, we haven't, I haven't seen Stu since the Angling Classic, so we've had a nice little chat about that, the way we're going to do things a little bit different next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and mullet fishing, probably, next time you get a day off. Yeah, come back home again. We'll come down and we'll um, do a part two. Definitely and a we part actually, two after that. But we're just like you, we come out fishing, we blank quite a lot, um, so... At least this video shows you the true side of fishing. Yeah, 100%. There's no smoking mirrors here, no high-fiving or no, PBs no. today. No, no. Just fishing our tits off and blanking. Yeah. Which is what we love. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> see often. you there, everyone. See you there. Thanks, you. No worries. And we'll see you all again soon.